Hi guys! I know it's been a while. Um, I haven't been posting lately because yo girl got a part-time job now. So I have been working part-time ever since the end of last month. So I haven't been, you know, filming or uploading any new videos besides like my vlogs. I do apologize about that. I decided last minute to take a part-time job and help my husband out a little bit. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Liz and I usually just make motherhood and lifestyle videos for my channel. If you guys want to see more of my mong recipes or mong cooking or anything within that category click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on those videos okay for today's video i am sharing a very very easy noodle dish soup recipe with you guys it's called it's called kapia or cowpea depends on uh however you want to pronounce it but for us Hmong people we just say kapia and um, it's a very, very easy dish. All you need is like three or five ingredients and then you can just make this easily at home. And it's very cheap to get the ingredients. I will show you guys how I make mine. I only use like two different powder, water, and then like the chicken for the protein. It's great for rainy days and like sick days. It really like soothes your soul with like the warmth of it. The noodles are similar to undu noodles. Okay, go wash your hands, honey. Can you say hi? Hi. Say, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay to the end to see the final results. First, I like to boil a big pot of water for the broth and get it ready for the chicken. I find it easier to chop up all the herbs and have it ready for the broth. So here, I'm just doing my usual with the lemongrass, removing the root or stem part and the very top of it, then chopping it in half so that I can bruise it for more flavor. This is optional, but I like to smash a couple of garlics for the broth. Next, I move on to the garnishments. Having cilantro, green onions, and lime is a must for us Hmong people when it comes to noodle soups. It just pairs really well together. Now that I have all the garnishments together, I'm going to move on to the chicken. So for the meat, it is preferred to use chicken. I like to use a whole chicken, but quarter legs or chicken breasts work just as great. Chop up your chicken however you like it. This is just how I do it and it gives me more control of what parts I'm cutting up. Once your water is boiling, throw in the lemongrass, garlic, and the chicken. While I let the broth come to a boil, I'm going to start prepping up the area where I will be hand rolling the noodles. I'm laying down some aluminum foil onto my table to make cleaning up a little easier. This part is optional. If you don't want to do this part, you don't have to. Alright, so here I have two different types of flour. I use the rice flour and the tapioca flour. You can get these at your nearest Asian market. I like using just these two flours because they don't give you a tacky sticky texture to the noodles. I am going to be using a measuring cup because I like the one to one ratio. I'm going to pour in one cup of the rice flour. And pour it into the bowl. 
and then pouring one cup of the tapioca flour and pouring that into the bowl. Here I have some boiling water that I boiled with my kettle and I'm measuring one cup and pouring that slowly into the mixture. You will need to use hot boiling water for the mixture so just be very careful during this part. After feeling the texture of the mixture, I'm going to slowly add more boiling water from the one cup and mix again. This part is the most challenging part because the mixture will look dry but once you knead it with your fist, it will start to become more soft and become more doughy. Now I'm going to keep kneading the dough until all the flour is picked up. Alright, so it should look something like this. I'm grabbing a good amount to be rolled in a ball and sprinkling some tapioca flour onto the table so that it doesn't stick once I start rolling it. If you have a rolling pin, use that. I don't have one, so I'm just using my pepper jammer stick to roll the dough. I always make sure that when rolling, the dough is nice and flat. I sometimes add a little flour to prevent it from sticking when I fold the dough. Now you just cut it into noodles, thick or thin, it's up to your preferences. So now my broth is boiling and I'm going to start seasoning it with 2-3 to three tablespoons of salt and 2-3 to three tablespoons of chicken broth powder. I usually just eyeball everything but if you're not too sure then you can just use those measurements. The chicken is fully cooked so now I'm taking them out to be shredded. Once they're all shredded, throw them back into the boiling broth along with the kapia noodles. Let it sit and boil for about 15 to 30 minutes and it should be ready. Yummy! I can't wait to eat this. I'm going to go ahead and garnish it with cilantro, green onions, and lime. 
And then I'm gonna add some oyster sauce, fish sauce, some fried garlic, and black pepper for more flavor. Now mix it all together in the soup and that's it. Happy eating. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe.